Welcome to Bone Slicer's UT3 Terrain Tutorial. We will learn how to uh, make a terrain for the UT3 editor. In the UT3 editor, excuse me. I'm not a professional, so I'll do my best to try to explain how I'm doing this. The first thing we want to do is we uh, want to make an actual size of ter uh, terrain. I'm at. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the actor class browser, go actor class, expand the uh, info, and left click on terrain. We want to right click in our top viewport and click uh, add terrain here. There you go. This is that simple. You don't have, look at there, you don't create the terrain already, just that quick. Okay, now, first thing we want to do, because I know this is going to cause problems if we don't, well, I'll tell you what, we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and go over here to our generic browser again, and let's click Material. And let's open up, a, uh, actually, not Material. I'm sorry, let's click Layers. There we go, it's already checked. Click your Terrain Layer. Now let's go to File. Let's click Open, and let's browse to My Computer. C drive, program files, go down to Unreal Tournament, uh, I'm half blind in one eye and can't see the other, so I double click there with the Unreal Tournament 3 folder, and now UT Game folder, Cooked PC folder, Environments folder, now we're going to scroll all the way down until we see some terrain stuff here. And we see terrain, UN terrain, UN terrain tracks, UN. Okay, we got three different terrain packs here. So let's, uh, with your left hand, press control, and then left click with your mouse on each one of these terrains. And then release control. Now you have all three highlighted. Click open. A terrain has to have a layer before it can have the material on it. So now we're going to choose a layer. What we're going to do here for this one, I'm going to choose a sand layer. So let's see, we have sand here, sand here, sand here, and these are all three layers. For the first one, let's click this one here. It's TLSUN Terrain Sandstorm Ground. Okay? Now check this out. Right click on your terrain, left click on properties. This is in the top viewport here and go to terrain and expand that and you'll see layers and if you click that little uh, plus right here to the right of layers add new item then something will come up and right beside that is a zero if you left click on that little uh, arrow there you'll see where it says setup okay now you already have a highlighted so we can click uh, use now, it will put it in there already. Okay, now we'll come over here. We'll click Build All. Alright, now it says we have a problem here with B morphing enabled. Okay, so we'll go and right click on Terrain Properties and the top viewport, left click Terrain Properties. I'm sorry. We'll click it again. Sometimes Vista X is kind of funny. So. Uh, we want to go to terrain B morphine. What did that arrow say again? Let's see. Your terrain does not have B. Okay, we need to enable it. The editor is good about this. It tells you what's wrong, what you need to do. Well, guess what? It's going to tell us something else is wrong. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close this error and build all again. Now B morphine gradients enabled set to true. It said uh, it doesn't have it set to true, and you need it set to true. All right, so we'll go ahead and exit out of this, and click our terrain again in the top viewport, and go down and set B morphing gradient enabled. I just did that just to show you. you already knew that was going to happen. So now we're going to build all again. Now see we have no errors, so we can exit out, exit out the properties. Now what we want to do is save the file. Uh, so we can go file at the top of your editor here and uh, we want to click save 
save as and call this uh, VCTF or whatever type map you're doing and I'm going to call this terrain tutorial one just for the sake of it sake of it ugh, can't even talk and click save now what I'm going to do is exit out of this for a minute out of your generic browser that's this okay now what I'm going to do here is just uh, show you you get up here that you actually have a terrain with a layer on it you can see that now now if we won't we don't have a material that's the actual layer even though you can see it you can put somebody in there and walk on it and on all that good stuff well part two here we're going to show you how to make a material for this so this concludes our uh, tutorial for the terrain layer setup